traders from across the globe. I'm back at the main home in Las Vegas. <laughs> and it's great to be back. All right, traders. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the 1498th installment of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're almost at our 1500th video. And these videos are geared to teach you the art of technical analysis and how to use that craft calling the markets moving forward. Before we get into the topics on the board, you must know that futures trading is extremely risky, causes substantial financial losses, certainly not suitable for all traders. You must place a stop first. You must know that a stop is your best friend. You've got to have risk capital to lose to play this game. It's very risky. All right. If you understand the risks behind this game, let's talk about this. August 8th, excuse me, August 2nd, 2016, August is the 8th month, August 2nd, 2016, it's a Tuesday. This video is geared for trading on Tuesday, August 16th. And let me just show you a couple of things on the board. ES, NASDAQ, Russell, the usual suspects. We have a bullish omni for those guys. We look to buy the dips. Why? Because I don't care what anyone says out there. You've seen enough of these videos from me, and you've seen how many of them have been correct. In the U.S. indices, a flag is a flag is a flag until it's not. You always assume that a flag is going to work unless for some reason it doesn't. What does that mean? Indices like ES, NASDAQ, Russell, and the gamut are in bull flags, which usually produce an upward movement when the bull flag is complete. It's a formation that we technical analysts use called a bull flag. Bull flags call for the upside, and you trade a bull flag from the bullish side unless it somehow stops being a flag. So again, a flag is a flag is a flag until it's not, and I'll show you some charts. Then we've got this, the metals. Traders, gold is bullish, looks great. The indices are bullish, look great. Remember this come the fall season because I haven't forgotten. Gold does not move like this for no reason. Yes, we're bullish gold. Yeah, it's going to be great to buy it. But I am telling you, <laughs> there is just no way the gold has moved up like it has for no reason. That reason will come. We'll find out maybe in the fall, but just keep that in the back of your mind moving forward after the summer is over. For now, we are buying gold for trading on tomorrow's Tuesday. Tuesday. The crude oil and soybeans hunt is on, baby. The hunt is on in crude once again. We've been hunting down the crude every single day. We backed off hunting it down on Friday. We're back to hunting it again for trading on Tuesday. Then there's the great decoupling, as I like to call it. The great decoupling of crude from the Dow. And I'll show you charts on that. And then there's Apple. Boy, I got a lot of stuff to show you, cats. Traders, if you like the chart you're about to see, you come on down to livewithoscar.com. Come to my free trading room. It is free. It is there for you. I will help you understand the charts. I will help you understand the markets. I will help you get in and out of trades throughout the day and night. If you're an Omniac that has been with me before and you would like a chance to work with me for a seminar I hold here in Las Vegas, I've got two open seats left for my September 9th through 12th seminar being held here live in Las Vegas. It's just under five weeks if you've been thinking about coming out. Come to LiveWithOscar.com and fill out your applications because time's starting to tick. You've got to get a plane ticket. Two seats open, September 9th through 12th. At OmniCamp, I will teach you exactly how to call Oscar's Market Navigational Indicator, the Omni, for yourselves. How to tell where the market is most likely going to go the next day, but the night before. Very interesting trick. If you'd like that... Fill out your OmniCamp applications before the seats are gone and come join me here in Vegas in about five weeks. All right, traders. So, again, very quickly, indices are in both flags, and a flag is a flag is a flag until it's not. Remember when the fall comes that there is just no way gold acts like this for no reason. We'll find out why. Crude, the hunt is on. Soybeans as well. The great decoupling of crude from Dow and Apple. Those charts are coming your way right now. With no further ado, let's go look at some charts. 
Okay, traders, the first chart I'm going to show you this evening is the NASDAQ daily bar chart. And an Oscarism known as the F flag. You've been seeing this from me for the last five years. It's the only place you'll ever see it, but it is an Oscarism known as an F flag. Generally, this will just continue on forever and ever until it finally stops. And then, of course, we call it the F flag because when it does finally stop, you get F'd. But there's almost no way of telling when the F'ing is going to come. So we just continue to buy the dips in that F flag for as long as it lasts. So big, big F flag. Now, if you look here, it started out with this bull flag down here. Check this out. It started with the bull flag. We got above that bull flag with this bar, and it broke out, and the whole thing turned into a bigger F flag. Interesting, right? So really, the whole thing is one big F flag, but it started out with this bull flag right here. And then we broke out of the bull flag, and away we went. So that's your NASDAQ. Look at the Russell 2000. And by the way, look what happened here. You started out with this bull flag. Broke out of the bull flag right here. Turned it into what is now a much bigger F flag, using this as the pole. And of course, here's your defined flag. And F flags produce an upward movement, upward movement until they finally don't. So you've seen the Russell and the NASDAQ. And I'll tell you right now, the Russell and the NASDAQ have been the two leaders of this entire up move the whole time. Let's move along. E-mini S&P. Once again, it's another indice. It did the same thing. Flag here. Stopped for the flag. Broke out into an F flag, which is also bullish for short-term trading. And then the actual leader of all indices, in most cases, not always, but most times it leads, is your transportation average daily and... Look at this, it's in a bull flag. Forget the F flag, it's in a bull flag and it's starting to bounce off Otapma. Interesting, right? So the whole gamut of indices are in bull flags and flags are flags are flags until they're not. A flag is a flag is a flag until it's not. When's it not? When it comes down here and settles for a few days, then you know the flag's broken. But until that happens, you respect the flag and you buy the bottom of it. And that's the way it works. Then there's this. Apple amazingly has gotten over a major, major resistance level. Look at this. Apple gets up to the 200 bar moving average and crashes. Apple gets up to the 200 bar moving average again and crashes, but that leaves this big resistance line. Time passes. Apple gets back to the 200 recently and gets above for the first time. Didn't happen here. Didn't happen here, but look at the way it's above the line and above the 200. Apple is the biggest stock in the United States, worth over $725 billion. If it's going up, so is the rest of the market. That's a really good indication. So that takes care of U.S. indices. Let's move along now to the gold. The gold, when you look at it, is in a really nice channel. And if you recall, just a few nights ago, three or four nights ago, I sent you out a video and said, we're back. The gold is back. We're buying December gold. And it bounced from here and has been moving up. So we like the gold. Take that exact same gold chart and move it out a little bit. Let's zoom out a little and take a look at the forest. It's a much bigger channel. Much bigger. The channel I showed you was only this one. It's a much bigger channel with a bull flag. And we are now just starting to break out of that bull flag. Then there's soybeans. You've seen the gold. Now look at the soybeans. Look at that flag. I mean, wow, is that a great bear flag? And then we fell out of it. And it looks to me like now it wants to start a little trek towards the downside. So soybeans, another commodity looking at the downside. Then we've got the great decoupling traders, the great decoupling between crude oil and the S&P. What I mean by that is you see how this one's pointing up? That's the E-mini S&P. You see how this one is pointing down? That, my friends, is the crude oil. Crude is green. Follow it. S&P, blue. S&P pointing like this. Crude pointing like that. That is called a decoupling. They started decoupling here, and look at what's happened since. For a quite some time, of course, they went basically in the same direction. But then a decoupling came, and this is what you got now. One going this way, and one going this way. So there it is before your eyes, and this will greatly help the stock market. The decoupling of the cheaper crude prices from the stock market. And speaking of cheaper crude prices, look at the crude chart, traders. 
Since we fell out of this, I said the hunt is on. Remember I showed us the bear flag? I said the hunt is on. Down we go. We've been trying to sell it every day. Look at what has happened since it cracked out of that channel. And this is Monday's bar. This is an outside day. Why? Because it's much greater than the day before's high and low, and it settled lower than the day before's range. That is an outside day pointing for more downside. 37 is our first target in cruise. We'll talk about further targets once we get there. Traders, pull your own charts, do your own analysis. Meet me at livewithoscar.com. So, traders, you've seen the charts, and let me tell you something. Those are pretty darn good charts, aren't they? Fantastic. Let me tell you something else. I'm about the best of the best of the best at calling these charts, especially on these short-term trades. So you should come join me at livewithoscar.com and allow me to help you out. And if you do know me personally, grab one of those last two seats at my Omnicamp. And I'll help you change your life for the better forever. At least that's, I will try to my darndest to teach you the Omni, which will then change your life likely for the better. All right, traders, come down to LiveAlaska.com. I'll see you there. Remember, keep your emotions out of trading. And we all know that that's not easy. One of the best things that I can tell you to do is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.